What's going on guys? My name is Anthony. My name is Zeke. And we are so excited to be able to hang out with you guys today. Um, we're just going to give you guys an encouraging word um, during these crazy times. But before we start, we're going to play a little game with you guys called This or That. So Zeke, um, take it away, man. This or That. So basically, if you, you guys have probably heard about it. Uh, we're basically, basically comparing two things and then we're going to say which we prefer. So Anthony, we're going to start real easy, real simple. All right, cool. Real good. Got you. In and out. Or five guys. In and out, easy. Bro, it's like seven bucks for like a meal. That's true. When you're on five a guys, five guys. Okay, for all the guys that have um, a girlfriend, at five, at five guys, you're paying like thirty bucks for both of you. So good luck. So. That is true. So yeah. next one, we got Chick Fil A or Popeyes chicken sandwich. Okay, that one's hard because if we're talking about chicken sandwiches, Popeyes all the way. Everything else, I'll take Chick Fil A. I just think there could be like a perfect combination if we had like the Chick Fil A bun and then the Popeyes chicken. I think the Popeyes chicken is just like the best. Part. Yeah. Anyway, next one we got AMC or Regal. AMC. I have a membership there. Absolutely. So and like I don't know if you guys Absolutely. have been to the Palm one, dude. You can sneak in snacks. Yeah. Super chill. You can recline the like, seats, bro. It's the best. Like, AMC. Gotcha. Ladies. Anyways, Buffalo Wild Wings or Wingstop. Wingstop. Really? Yeah, bro, Wingstop. I personally think Wingstop tastes like Play-Doh, but that's just me. I'm B-dubs all the way. Next one, PlayStation or Xbox? PlayStation. PlayStation. Okay, cool. We, we agree. Perfect. Dope. Cool. Awesome. So thanks for um, playing with us, guys. We truly appreciate that. So um, actually, we're going to get into the word right now. So if you guys have your Bibles open, we're going to be reading in the book of Psalms, chapter 23. And we're going to be reading verses 1 through 6. And this is actually um, in correlation to our devotional. So if you guys are not uh, following, following along in the devotional, we have the link on the Instagram bio. Make sure you click on it. Make sure you follow along with us. So it starts right here. Psalms 23, verse 1. It says, The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He, let, he leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. For you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life. And I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Well, I, I really think this um, verse is so on time. It's so in season, you know. Um, we're in this uncertain, unknown season of not just our lives, but literally everybody's lives. You know, this whole virus situation is um, affecting so many people around the world. You know, we don't know when we could be able to go out, um, hang out with our friends. And uh, maybe we're maybe during this time, we're just searching for um, some something or a place or whatever it may be just to find peace. But what I love about this verse is when it says that even when we are walking through the darkest valley, we will not be afraid. Why? Because our God is close beside us. And I really do believe that when we're able to depend on Jesus, when we're, when we're able to depend on our God for peace, for love, for grace, and just for our strength, he will never fail us. So I really want to encourage you guys that you guys depend on, our, on a God that never fails you. Um, Zeke, do you want anything to add? Yeah, absolutely. Just going off of what you said is, it's, it's easy right now, guys, to feel depressed, to feel anxiety. And these are all normal things that we're going to feel. But I, I want to share something with you that's very specific that someone once shared to me. Is that, yes, you might be feeling, uh, and people might, might call you depressed. But you are not a depressed person. You are experiencing depression. People might call you uh, anxious, but you are not anxious. You are experiencing experiencing anxiety. And so one thing that I just want to share with you is that God would never leave you and he would never forsake you. And, and you know, it, it's an unknown situation that we're going through. It's a scary time that we're going through, you know, people losing jobs, so many, uh, you know, negative factors that we could totally bring up. Uh, but one thing to, to, to just remind us and keep us motivated is that God would never give us a task that we could not complete. Yeah. God is always walking in front of us, making sure that the way is open for us. So Rev Youth, I just want you guys to lead with all that you are, knowing that God is by your side. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. So again, thank you guys for joining us. And before we head out, I just really want us to pray. So if you guys are um, watching wherever you're at, let's just bow our heads. Let's close our eyes and let's pray. So Father, we just want to come before you today, Lord, just to say thank you, Father, that even through this storm, even through the darkest valley of our life, Father, you are still there, Lord. And I just pray that um, as we continue to live our life, Father, that we will trust no other source, not man, not media, not um, anything, Father, but you, Lord. And I just pray that um, as every single youth is watching right now, every single guy is watching, Father, that we continue to, to depend on your strength, to depend on your love, to depend on your grace, Father. So again, Father, we pray all of that in your mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. Awesome, guys. So before we head out, just a couple quick announcements. Um, if you guys do not know, we have a Rev Guy Zoom chat every thursday night at 7 p.m so make sure you go on the instagram check that out check the link and make sure every friday nights we're always on ig live so make sure you tune in i may i i don't think i'm gonna be on it i may be on it who knows but um it's gonna, it's gonna be really cool so again we love you guys and see you guys later love you guys bye